and that was kind of the game plan of that and try to keep the ball away from Evans as much as we could because he's he's very good with it. Overall, the ball movement as good as it has been at any time this season? They're playing zone. We're just passing around. You know, hard not to pass it around when they're playing zone. We 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 just, we need to be able to do a better job of making looks, and we didn't shoot the ball very well. But our offensive rebounding and carried us like it normally does when people play zone. What's the long term on Daxter? I'd be the most shocked person in the world if he didn't practice tomorrow. So is today just more precautionary then? I've never played a guy who didn't practice. Ever. So it's not fair to the other guys. Coach, what does it say about the depth of this team that you can bench a starter like Dax? And then I didn't bench him. He was hurt. That you didn't play him, and then you have a guy like please him. Don't, please don't write that because that's not, that's not even close to being true. He wasn't benched. He just didn't practice. He had a sprained ankle. Uh, well, Tavon's been getting better. Um, you know, it's, it's nice to have the luxury of having a guy like Nate who I can play at three. I can play him at four. You know, he's... Uh, He's, he gives us some versatility with that. I mean, particularly made a shot today, and he's going to start making some shots, which will really make it a lot better, and he gives us size on the perimeter. He and Issa give us good size when we play those two guys at three. Just ten turnovers for you guys today. You've been obviously emphasizing that. What did you think of that aspect? Um, well, that's what we're shooting for. We'd like to be ten or less. That's kind of what we've we've kind of been in that range, and we've always been um, ranked very high nationally in assist to turnover ratio. So we that's been a that's been a problem for us. We've turned it over too much. So why less today? Was there something? A they lot of it, No, nah, a lot of it was they played zone. I mean, unless you just really force things. It's hard to turn it, you know, shouldn't turn it over much against the zone. Although we have, don't get me wrong, we have, we found ways, but um, shouldn't shouldn't be the case. Uh, what did you see out of uh, Jay Sean first start of the year, I guess, um, as opposed to his role that he's got used to coming off the bench? How do you think he did out there? I mean, he didn't shoot well, obviously. But... He didn't shoot it in there as well. Uh, I don't know if he was, he was as active. You know, I think he feels a little more comfortable. Now he's come off the bench for so long. I think he's a lot more comfortable doing that. And that that other group needs him. Tariq got in foul trouble, and he's the other guy on that group that's been scoring the ball. So. What can you say about the big guys? No, I mean we emphasize rebounding. Um, you know, but you can emphasize it all you want to emphasize it, and if you don't have guys who who go get it, then um, all that emphasizing doesn't do a whole lot of good. It's got to be a habit, and and uh, you know, Brandon's not rebounded as well as he's capable to rebound it, just because of reps. You know, with the with the knee and everything, we've got to get Issa to rebound it better. If we can get Issa to rebound it better, then. Then I think we can really be a good offensive rebounding team. Devin's going to rebound it, and John's going to rebound it, and Nate Nate's really active. Nate, Nate the eyes is getting better. He went and got a couple today, pretty good. What did you think of Bolton? The key that he only had one foul was that. <sighs> yeah, particularly particularly as many as there was called for John only to get one. It's pretty good. He did a better job with his angles. If you noticed, he wasn't running up and bumping people and and doing the things he was doing before. For him, else? for him just to be active. I mean, obviously, and be on the court. How, how important is that? Well, he was backing up. You know, he was backing up, trying to sit in front of the guards and help the guards. You know, deny the ball in bounds, and then they're throwing the ball over top of us because he didn't have any pressure on it, and and. Uh, 
you know, you go back and look at the film, it's he had his hands down and he was more trying to um, help the guards deny. And in the meantime, they're they're running people deep and throwing the ball long, and which they never were able to do any other time. And when they tried to throw it long today, I think we got it just about every time except for Brandon. Brandon's just, you know, kind of a half a step behind right now. But um, that's all because John makes them throw it. I mean, there's a lot more air under it. Sorry if I missed this, but Dax's situation moving forward, is it a situation if he practices or play or what, what's your Sprained his ankle. Sprained his, I've never played a guy who didn't practice. So I'm not going to start now after 30-some years. It's not fair. I've had guys spend nights in the training room. Uh, Deshaun's done that. Alexander's done that. Um, I've had a whole bunch of guys at Cincinnati do that. Uh, it's it's your responsibility to get well. I mean, it's a shame you get hurt, but your responsibility is to get well and continue to help your teammates. That's what team is. So the more time Dak spends trying to get well, and the sooner he gets out there, certainly the sooner he'll get back to playing. Coach, team people always kind of look at... Justin, how are you back there? <laughs> Teams, uh, people always kind of look at like how many turnovers you guys forced to see if it was like a good game for you guys, but when you limit how many shots the other team gets, isn't that almost uh, as important or maybe more important than how many turnovers you force? Well, I've said this before, you know, a year ago uh, when we first started doing this, I, I'd go in and look and say people would be shooting 51% from the field, and I was, like, ready to lose my mind because that never happened before. And But then you turn and you, you look at how many more shots we got than them. Yeah, that's what it is. That's what that's what offensive rebounding does for us. It just gives us second opportunities, and that's what that's what the press is designed to do. We've just got to do a better job of, of, um, of not turning people loose. We were better today than what we've been, uh, but... We still got to get better at that.